President, uh, Ura Ket, Edwin, Simeon, Ukreku, Nene, Oko, Jubilee House, Eko Chia, Ghana Mampeni, His Excellency, Nana Ado, Dankwa Kufu Ado, Na UTV Sports, Eko Piemu, Ojimedino Ase. When I was, I was out of the country at the time when I heard that the elections had, had been completed and we had a new, young, vibrant boss of, of the GFA, I was very, very happy about it. Uh, everything that I've heard about you uh, confirms that for me. So you're welcome. Thank you very much. And you have to know that uh, as long as I'm in this seat, you'll have unalloyed support by the way you want to take Ghana football. But hopefully, it is the same place as I want. It's, it's, it's not right that so many years have passed before we won the big cups again. Yeah, right. We've got to go back to the, the winning ways which used to characterize our football. You have a very big task. Everybody in Ghana is an expert on football. <laughs> Mr. President, that attention that is needed cannot only be provided by the Football Association. I have said on various platforms that the Football Association and government needs to have what we call, or what I call, XXZ relationship. We need government to be able to navigate our industry to the promised land. It is very clear that big lessons have been learned since the June 12th last year. And it's my commitment to ensure that we build an association that embraces all the good principles of good governance. We are talking about transparency, accountability, good internal audit system. And, and one of the big promises that I've made is to establish a full-time compliance department to ensure that we reposition the product offering so that corporate Ghana and the direct consumers of our sport, which is Ghanaians, football people, will love our sport again.